All right, question of the week in Blex Review number 21. Our question is, what movement would cause the radius to rotate over the ona? Is it gonna be A, supination, B, pronation, C, flexion, or D, extension? One more time. What movement would cause the radius to rotate over the ulna. Is it going to be supination, pronation, flexion, or extension? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you what movement would cause the radius to rotate over the ona, and we had a great turnout. We had 35 votes here. 46% of you said it was supination. 46% of you said it was pronation. 6% of you said it was flexion. 3% of you said it was extension. And then thank you to the five people who liked this post. So we are split between either supination or pronation. The majority of you said either it was supination or pronation. So we are about halfway here. And so let's go ahead and dive into this question and see which one of these is the correct answer. One more time, what movement would cause the radius to rotate? Rotate's a very important word here. This is a key word. Make sure you understand rotate over the ona. All right. And so first things first is we always want to make sure that we are referring to the body in the anatomical position any kind of movement, anytime we're talking about an anatomical structure, we always need to refer to the body in anatomical position. I wanna stress that, that is very, very important. So what that is, is we're standing straight upright, our arms are at our side, and our palms are facing forward. So always, always understand that. Now, let's take a look at the radius and the ona in the anatomical position. What you'll notice is that they are parallel. We have the ona, which is gonna be on my pinky side, and then I have my radius, which is going to be on my thumb side. And what you can tell from this picture is that they are parallel to each other. So there's no rotation happening in this picture. And so you can see it in this picture as well. The ona is on the pinky side and then that the radius is on the thumb side. So just another picture of the body in anatomical position. So let's take a look at the first one. We have flexion. So right here we are flexing at the wrist and what you'll notice is that neither the ulna nor the radius have moved. They stayed the same. They are still parallel. So Flexion is not the right answer. We have extension, same thing, nothing moved. We have the ona and the radius still parallel to each other. So we can go ahead and get rid of flexion and extension, leaving us with either supination or pronation. So we have a 50-50% chance of getting this answer correct. So let's take another look at this. So here we have pronation. Pronation, think of prone and that is face down. Notice that my hand is face down on my desk. Supination is face up. And so what you see is my palm is faced up. From this picture here, when the arm is prone, you can see that the radius, remember that the radius is on the thumb side, is over the ulna. The ulna is on the pinky side. And then in supination, you can see that the ulna and the radius are parallel to each other. Now let's take a look at something else. When we're in anatomical position, our palms are face up. So this is already supination. And you can see that the bones, the ulna and the radius are parallel. So there is no rotation happening in supination. So we can get rid of supination, leaving us with pronation, which is the correct answer here. So 46% of you got this answer correct. The answer is pronation. This causes the radius to rotate over the ulna. Awesome. I would encourage you to make sure you know this information before you go into the Mblex. It is very, very important that you have an understanding of this information because this is going to fall more under kinesiology and kinesiology is going to be 11% of the Mblex. That means that there are 11 questions out of 100 that may concern materials like this. So it's very important that you have an understanding of the different movements of the body. So we need to make sure we understand what supination is, what pronation is, flexion and extension. So I would encourage you, make sure you are diving into your textbooks or even checking out my YouTube videos to make sure that this information sticks as well as checking out the Patreon page where I dive much deeper into this information. So make sure you know this stuff before you go into the Mblex. Awesome. Y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see y'all in the next question of the week. Y'all take care.